I don't have an intro. People aren't feeling festive today. Nor am I. Today has been unpleasant in a number of ways. Uh, the rest of the week, not a whole lot better. So I'm just going to lay chilly tonight. I'm going to hang out with you all. And uh, I'm going to try to get some laughter out of you, if I can. And uh, we'll see what we can do from there. Um, yeah, yeah, I agree, Summer Savage. But I'm not going to put that on screen until I'm more than five minutes in. Either way. Hi. Got my fidget ring. So I can just, he spins the little, it's two little guys in there and they spin. So I'll be spinning my fidget ring. You might hear that. And we're going to try to concentrate on stuff that isn't quite so rude. I don't have all the answers, folks. And I know that some people are going to be asking. Some people might be a little bit more bleh about it, but I don't really have a whole lot of answers. I don't have any. I don't know what to tell you. Dodgers Diana, it looks like the storm has finally passed us. So that's good. Char is making potatoes. Good, good. Well, let's let's start some hellos here. Miss Sunrise Dawn is here, of course, of course. And she's the first one to get them out. Very nice. Susan P. is here. Hello. Good to see you. Psych Sauced, I'm happy that you're in here too. Mark Hardman, coming in with the strong opinion right off the bat. Welcome to the first meeting of the Stephanie A. Hutchison anti-fan group. You know, and hmm, I have some things to say about that too. Yeah, I do. Hi, Lori, Lori, Lori. Hello, Wolf Machine. Yes, Summer Savage, it is definitely that kind of night. Hello, Deanna Downey. Hello, Marla Dillard. Hello, Susan P. Hello, Purple Groovy. Yeah, you're not the only one, Sweet P. A lot of us are. Yeah, Akila. Mine started that way, so, but yeah. Char Michael, hi guys. It's a lovely warm day in Sydney today, and I'm making potatoes. I love potatoes. What happened to Liz, Duchess Diana? She shut down her channel tonight. This day is truly like the moon eclipse we just had. It makes me restless, sad, and eclipsed. Well, you are not eclipsed. We see you, Heather McLaughlin. Hello, Kimberly Gabaldon. Good to see you. Good to see you, Bridget Alexander. Kayla McDonald, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Gretchen only, you ain't kidding. Holy shit, there's a lot of yuck going on. Just a lot of it. Christy's Boutique. Hi. 
Good to see you. Hello, every one of you dirty stay ups and cricket. Hello. Right back at you. Hi, chat. Hi, Chow. Hi, my sister, George. Good morning. Also, my sister, George, is that a dead like me reference? I got to ask. Shar Michael is out of the loop. Lori, Lori, Lori wants to know why. Hi, Cricket and Chat. Hello, Joanne Rice. Uh, Lori, I, I think she will be. But um, she has been reportedly receiving threats to the safety of herself and her family. And has also been advised to engage in self-deletion before somebody else does it for her. Yeah, it's pretty rude. Liz is going through it. She is, but Tommy, Tommy is supportive. He's doing his thing. Hi, Nicole Yonker. Yeah, I think we all feel right about like that. Yeah, we do need it. Z new Marlena. Everybody partake. We do need it tonight. Wolf Machine, can we take a moment to remember KK and her contributions to the cause, please? I might be having synaptic flatulence. Please remind me who KK is. Hello, Jen. Good to see you. Liz and Pearl Snappy's friend. Okay. Going rogue. Hello to you. And Casillas. Yep, people are people are remembering her. Rosalang just in from howling at the moon for Liz and others. Yep. Hi, retired red. Hi, dear Nikolai. Good to see you. No, a curious George, says my sister George. I loved Curious George as a child. My older brother started calling me George. Still does. Introduces me as his sister, George. My name is Christine. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing that with me. Oh, Maz is here. Hey, dirties. Can't stay long, but just checking in. Thank you very much. Yeah, I guess I didn't hear much about KK. I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything about that. Psych sauce needs a damn cigarette. Girl. Let me tell you. She was an Austin streamer. Miss Sunrise Dawn became a member. Cosmic Christie is here. Hi, everybody. Motorcycle accident. Holy shit balls. Well, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hoist a glass to that too. Or whatever it is in which you're partaking. Cookies, iced tea, weed, I don't care. Hoist the glass. And thank you, Mark Hardman. For gifting 10 memberships, if you got a membership from Mark Hardman, please, please drop some hearts in the chat for that man. Kathy Mitchell is here. Miss Ekblama, Jilbo Baggins. Hey, Carrie Ann. Thank you so much. Hey, Carrie Ann. 
Grades are in. You got an A. Of course you did. Fuck yeah, we have something to celebrate and I am about it. Good. I love to hear that. By the way, since someone mentioned Ms. Hutchison, I obtained a copy of the Asimath Code of Ethics and we'll be going over it with a fine tooth comb tomorrow morning. Good. Good. Excellent. Do that. Oh, it happened while Reese was on. Oh, shit. Dude. Could today be more fucked up? I mean, I probably shouldn't even ask that because that's at work. It's water. That's okay, Lori. I gotcha. Caused by someone texting and driving? Oh, fuck. Cosmic Christie has coffee and medicinal. Excellent. I love it. I love it. Hello, Smoke. Good to see ya. Mariana, good to see you. Haven't looked at Liz's video, but saw what happened on Reese's Facebook. Terrible. She will be missed. Yes. Yes, she will. And it was heartbreaking to watch that video, but I'm glad that Tommy went on with her and got an opportunity to talk to her in the moment. I'm really glad for that. And I was about ready to pick up the phone and drop Tommy a text my own self, but somebody beat me to the punch. And I, the man's got dedication. He's sure enough dead. Sure enough do. So cheers to KK. May her memory continue to be a blessing. And may she skip the implant station. And we're going to hoist one to Mark Hardman for gifting those memberships. Seriously, I appreciate you so much. I'm going to raise one to Marilyn for holding my hand through the harrowing process of getting the membership set up and being so generous with her time and her emoji, mad emoji skills. Um, cheers to you. And go get some rest, lady. Trophy for Hey Carrie Ann, for sure. Yes, today was sucky, Ann Casillas. It sure was. Medicinal and Coca Cola, says Summer Savage and Marlboros. Did Blow Drill name the person in Liz's stream? I missed it. If he did, I missed it too. Someone came into the stream and announced it. Okay. Won't stop with the hashtag save Bob Ferris. Yep. Kila. Since I run the FB page, it's best to say I haven't even had time to go to the group. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't blame you. She was with Pearl from the beginning. Pearl said either texting and driving or drunk driving. Son of a bitch. Jen Nelson. Hey, neighbor. How you doing? Good to see you. Jen Nelson became a member. I love it. Thank you so much. Yes, to Marilyn. We're raising glasses to a lot of people tonight, all. Marilyn is so happy with the cock rocket emoji. Unstable datum. Who says, hot Carl? That's fair. I agree. 
Hot Carl. Yeah, it's, it's just today has been a day and a half. Keela, thank you. Hey, Donnie Scattered, you're late, but nah, you got here right when you were supposed to. It's fine. Had to leave Liz's stream. I was crying. Think I had a panic attack. Couldn't breathe. I love Liz so much. Yeah. Susan P. I don't think you're the only one. I don't think there were a lot of people who were feeling a number of different types of way about it. And uh, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. The whole thing has, has today's been a day and a half and it's only a day. I mean, what the fuck? Um, yeah, Keela does like to make it rain them memberships for show, for show. I have seen that before. And, uh, so does, so does Mark Hardman. Yeah, I see you. I see both of you. Maz did it last night. Cock rocket got you on the emojis, Nicole. Yeah. Name that was mentioned isn't worth repeating. Okay. I think I can probably figure that out pretty easily. Tequila. Which sounds like another beverage now that I say it out loud. Well, dang. Right on. Tambor June. She's here. We love it. I think she'll come back of a break after a break only if it works for her. That's fair. That's fair. Somebody else said, you know, that she shouldn't just go away. She shouldn't just shut it down, burn it to the ground and salt the earth. That she should just take a break. And my response is that she should do what's best for her. And she's the only one who knows what that's going to be. So Judy Lee. Hi. Yeah. Thank goodness. Tommy came in. Yes. I agree with you, Judy Lee. Moni 69. Hello. From Perth, Western Australia, sending smooches. Couldn't stay long with Pearl or Liz. I'm going to send them both an email. I don't know what to say, so I'm just going to send them my love yous. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes, you know what? Sometimes words just aren't cooperative. Sometimes you don't get the words you want. Sometimes you don't get words that function. And... uh So we work with what we've got and that's all we can do. She is loved and will be there when she is back. That is true. Breaks are important too. Nora named names in her community posts. It just makes me so angry that anybody would dare to hurt our Liz this way. Well, you know, judging from what we've heard, it's not the first time. I think they're taking advantage of somebody and, um, And I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I, uh, I'm upset about it a lot. Good evening. Care for JC. Hello. You're heartbroken for Liz. Yeah. You're not the only one. It did sound like I said, tequila. It sure did. And on top of it all, she's sick and not feeling well. Yep. Yep. And that is exactly true. That illness that's been going around the house. 
Thank you, Jen Nelson, for your super chat. I appreciate that. This is important. I talked to Liz tonight. She has a lot of healing to do, but said she appreciates everyone who is there for her. Yep. And she knows. She knows that we're here for her. Hello, grandkids galore. And thank you so much. Yeah, she's got she's got her her wife at home. She does have uh, a support system if she needs it. She sure does. I am so over troll behavior, says Ann Kasik. Yes. People who get off on double speak and play both sides against the middle. Cowards, all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Rosalind, it's been a day and a half. It's been a day and a half. And yeah. I mean, I said some things a few months ago in a chat room that I'm not proud of. I said some things because I was angry and I didn't like feeling targeted or manipulated. And so I talked some shit. And that was last summer. So it was a number of months ago. But they're my words. And I owned them. Hey, Kelly B69. Good to see him. Good to see ya. I owned them. I apologized. I'm not in the practice of making excuses. I'm not in the practice of lying. So, yeah, I owned up to it. I gave reasons. And we talked it all out. And everything seems pretty good. But I was confronted with these not long after I woke up. I was working and I'm doing things on the internets. Um... RTR with Matrix Rabbit 0157. Hello. Barbara is awake. Hello, Barbara. Good to see you. Yeah, I said some things. I was confronted with those things by a person that I now consider a friend. And, you know, I owned him. I apologized. I will continue apologizing for however long as that person feels is necessary. They said that we're good, but it just feels weird to be confronted with those months after it happened and know that the person who, it, it doesn't, I'm not upset about being confronted with them, except, you know, kind of mad at myself for saying things that were not pleasant. I wasn't nice. I wasn't charitable. I wasn't fair. I didn't go as far as quite a few others, but I wasn't necessarily nice, and that was rude. Hello, SPTV Never Ends. Good to see ya. But the fact that this person received, and I don't know who they got the screenshots from, and it's none of my business. But with this happen and everything else going on, hello, Pamela SP Butterfly. With that happened and a lot of the other stuff that's been going on over the last 48, over the last 72, and then some, The timing just seems really sus. And I said that to my friend. 
I've I've voiced my thoughts about it. But I have apologized and I will continue doing so for as long as is necessary. I have regrets. I popped off. But um That's how my day started. <laughs> um, that's how my day started. My entire body is super, super, super extra angry at me for the, uh, the snow shoveling that I did yesterday because it's heavy heart attack snow. And so all of my muscles my butt muscles, all of these muscles, everything, everything just hurts. My core muscles, all of it hurts. It really does, Keela. It really does feel like the walls are closing in from all sides. It feels like there are forces at work that are doing everything that they can to tear down everyone that they can. All I can do is actually own my shit, apologize, and try to move on. And I am, I have not been asked to make any of this public. But I chose to because I'm going to, if I'm going to hold other people accountable, I have to hold myself accountable. Welcome. Thank you for becoming a member, Pamela S.P. Butterfly. I appreciate that. But yeah, so I'm holding myself accountable for what I've done. Hi, Kim White. Welcome. If you're just catching up and you haven't been online much at all today, whoo, lady. Got some work ahead of you. But yeah, and I'm dealing with email challenges, things that I've gotten in my email that have been frustrating, and notifications on the phone and everything else. And and then all this stuff blew up with Liz. And um Fucking A, man. I don't even know what to do. I don't know what to do anymore. We're just soldiering on. Because we don't have a whole lot of choice in the matter. Timber, that fucking sucks. I hope that he recovers well. I hope that he recovers quickly. And I'm so sorry that that's happening to you. Yep. Lots of ones in the chat for your dad. Lots of them. And we got you, Artsy Tartsy. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry that I didn't get back to your email. Um, yes, Maya. Yes, something did absolutely. Uh, she was uh, receiving threats. Receiving threats uh, to death and was telling people or was being told by people to um, 
to self-delete. So she's leaving YouTube. She won't be making any videos for the foreseeable future. Yeah, this last couple of days have been really bonkers. Really, really bonkers. Yeah, they threatened Carrie. They threatened the kids. They, they threatened a lot of people. And they said some really gnarly stuff. So... Yeah, so I've been a little bit busy, a little bit busy. And somebody just sent me an email. Ooh, Marla Dillard is doing some diamond painting, a little bit of diamond art. Well, uh, while this is going on, and while we all chat, that's pretty. The Positive Life. Hello, welcome. Coming out of lurking, I really hope Liz still gets her treatment. This is so important. I agree with you. It really is. Thank you, Marla Dillard. Thank you, Marla Dillard. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, and you're doing beautiful work there. That's gorgeous. And and welcome out of lurking, the positive life. I'm I'm glad that you're here. Thank you. Thank you for popping up and saying hello. Even if you go back to lurking, I'm I'm not here to mess with that. You do what makes you feel comfortable, but I'm glad you popped up and said hello. That means a lot. Thank you. Ah, I just got a new ear cuff and it's super cute, but apparently I don't know how to wear ear cuffs. Oh, octopus. He's so cute. I love him. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Barbara. I appreciate that. I found the Dan Crenshaw eye patch. Dare I, it's dare I say the sexiest patch out there. Humor heals a lot. You ain't kidding. Smoke. It is all about the humor. Yeah, I've got a, a thing for octopuses. Good morning, sunshines. I have this little ring. And I have this ring. I really like octopuses. Octopuses and, and bats. I love them. I love them so much. I think they're just amazing creatures. But I just basically really love animals. So Jasper is trying to pull up the carpet on the front porch. Trust him to make me laugh when I need it. Damn right. They look like Daleks if Doctor Who Heather is in the chat. That's funny. You make an octopus in resin. Very nice. My sister George does diamond painting too. Liz helps people any moment you need her. Cricket, when Doug was missing that first night, Liz picked up the phone as soon as I called. Wow. Nice. I didn't, uh, I didn't have her number. I was too busy flailing and trying to 
keep the chat from going full on Lord of the Flies, but it, it did anyway. Kelly B69, your daughter-in-law loves bats? I love them so much. They are my favorites. My absolute favorites. Sunshines, you have Daleks on your feet. That's delightful. Now, who's going pating? Thank you, Summer. Oh, and this is Kelly B's grandson, Wyatt. She is sharing Wyatt tonight. Here is a potato. Little potato Wyatt. He's a new potato. Yeah, I was busy that night. Keela, very busy that night. No, no, I was just catching up to real time here. I'm up to speed on the day, unfortunately. Okay, all right. Good, because I didn't want to have to be breaking any news to you. He is a potato. They are all potatoes. Oh, Trish is listening. I, I hear that Trish is listening. <sighs> Hello, Trish. We're glad you're here, Trish. I'll be doing the song in just a few minutes. Nora had just said earlier today that she and the unnamed were of good rapport, and I thought, oh boy, don't give him too much credit or space. And now look, yeah. Dina, I haven't been up to it, but I think it's time I make a clip of some things Doug had to say about certain people to watch out for in the community. Seems it's needed. Blind trust can destroy us. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I agree. A Dalek is a fictional extraterrestrial race of extremely xenophobic mutants from Doctor Who. Yes, that is true. And they are convinced that they are pure. Oh, Susan P says, hi, Trish. Used to watch Doctor Who, but don't remember that. Was the Dalek in the TV show way back? Yes, it was. Pub Groomer, you just got your first control, your first troll. Congratulations. That's amazing. Aw. Crap, in the bedroom with the boy kitties again without my meds. Personally, and I'm in love with the TARDIS. Yeah, Doug did somehow make the BS easier to take. For sure. Fun fact, octopuses have not one heart, but three. This is true. And so many brains. All right, y'all. Since Trish is listening, and she emailed me. You finally feel like you're doing something, Pub Groomer. I know. Jen, I'm so proud of you. That's incredible. Does he have shredded pants yet? That's funny. Yeah. Does your troll have a shredder for his pants? This is important. If he doesn't, then he needs to get his ass to Staples. 
Fun fact, the doctor does have two hearts. Yes, he does. Night meds. Take your night meds. It's a modern pharmacology. Night meds. Time for night meds. They can help your physiology. Take them well before you go to sleep. They work while you're busy counting sheep. When you take your night meds, it's a happy, healthy snooze time, a snorry snooze time. You'll have a sleepy time. Night meds. Sip first so the melatonin doesn't stick. So proud of you, Jen. Can we put the YouTube Voldemort in a shredder? No. No, we don't stoop to those levels. We don't need to. Where's your vape? I got mine. Barbara. Hef is, uh, she's got to be up early in the morning. So she warned me ahead of time she wasn't going to be able to make it. She's got to be up at like stupid o'clock um, for doctor stuff. I know, Ann Casillas, but you know, it reminds you of the Jetsons theme song. Oh, so you know it's Flintstones, Sunshines. Oregon Valley Girl, hello. I miss Doug. The stupid morgue is public. So that was an ugly cry I shouldn't have checked. Yikes. You went there? Oof. Lord Kiss Freak, hi! Good to see ya. My hubby has scuba dived in Puget Sound and interacted with the Pacific Octopus. He's also had an octopus physically check him out, including covering up his mask. That had to have been amazing. I want to meet an octopus. Tambor June finished a crochet project. We love that for you. I love ear warmers and headbands. I only have one, so I was working on my stitches. Why are doctors always at stupid o'clock? Because doctors. I have no other answers for you beside that. Hi, Ann Hummingbird. Glad to see ya. How are you feeling? How are you healing up, lady? Oh, it's public. Just looked it up. Gosh, no. Okay, good. That would have, oof. Yeah, I don't know if I could have handled that, Oregon Valley girl. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you just looked it up. And yeah, we miss him a lot. Octopus does have a beak. Yes, indeed. And they can really mess you up with it. No, who else has a beak? Ducks. Little rubber duckies. These are bigger than the other ones that I got before. And uh, I got tags. And I got a bunch of different colors. And then I got a bag of special ones. 
you're in pain and still freaking out about the rodent in your house. I am sorry to hear about that, Anne Hummingbird. I hope that you feel better soon and that your pain fucks off into the forever. Tommy has a beak. Yes, and he does, in fact, weather vane in a stiff wind, from what I understand. I have a little nurse ducky. And I have a little David Bowie ducky. I think this is a Japanese ducky, a Japanese theater mask ducky. And I have a star eyes ducky, both eyes, not one. So it doesn't count as Paul Stanley. I have this little ducky. Keela, you've got your bag of duckies as well. Good. Do you have tags? This ducky is all about the Benjamins. Kabuki, that's the word I was looking for. This one has little heart eyes. Kyokta. Jessica covered confident Chris's car with yellow duckies tonight. That's amazing, Susan P. I love it. Have you thought any more about the win a souvenir contest? Yes, I have. It's a very serious ducky. I haven't seen one yet, Lord Kiss Freak, but that doesn't mean that there aren't any. I'm still, I, this is my first time going through the bag, yo. This ducky has shades on. Oh my. I think this is a luchador ducky. Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time so much fun. This is a surf and snorkel ducky. We have duckies. Yeah, more Japanese war duckies. Damn. These are no joke. How can you send me a picture? You can, uh, if you want to email it, you can email it to chowyunsmut at gmail.com. All one word. I made a ducky look like a boyfriend once. I bought a Barbie doll cowboy hat and glued it on and drew a goatee on it. Did I make these? Oh, no. No. Here's an army ducky. Apparently, one of the things that people do on cruise ships is they bring a bunch of duckies and they put tags on them. And as you're walking through the ship, you might find one. There's a Christmas ducky. Where did I get them? Temu. Chef ducky. Rubber ducky, I am awfully fond of you. That's a very shiny silver helmet ducky. I don't, I don't, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what his helmet is. Is he a Chinese army ducky or what is he? I don't know who he is. Oh, maybe he's a fireman ducky. Here's a little witch ducky with a broom. What do you get when you find a ducky on a ship? You get a ducky. Thank you, Artsy, for sending me an email. Here is a surgeon ducky. Selfless self made it to LA. Yay! Ooh! Count Ducula. Quack.
He even has little fangs, but they're very tiny. You can only see them way at the back. You get to keep the duck. That's what you get when you find a duck on a ship. You can keep it for yourself, or you can rehide it um, so that somebody else can find it. They, uh, we have to figure out what we're going to do with our hashtag. Because you can put a hashtag on there. Thank you, Anne Hummingbird, for becoming a member. Yeah, if you were going on the cruise, you could maybe find a ducky. Oh, you're funny, Tamber June. That surgeon may be a quack. Hey. They're, um, they're making a mess. They're making a lot of noise in here right now. Calm down. Back in the bag. Edwina back and board. What they have, when you get the ducky, it has a tag on it. I'm going to wake your dog up. Sorry, Duchess Diana. These, I know it's backwards. It says, congratulations, you found a cruising duck. Take a selfie with me and post to the social media using the tag to follow my adventures. And then keep or hide, you decide. Please hide in public places only. No shops, pools, or hot tubs. And it's got the name of the ship and the date and from where to where or from whatever. Who? Okay, this week is an epic suck fest. I think I'm going to bed and speeding my way to the weekend. So this week it will be over already. Girl, I ain't mad at you about that. Sounds like about the wisest decision you could make. Your puppies are looking because they heard squeak toys. Yes, smoke. And uh, Brian, if I, uh, if I woke up Phil, I'm sorry. But yeah, so I have tags, I have ducks, once we figure out what hashtag we're going to use, I'm going to probably spend eight years sitting and writing hashtags on things, shit. Do you have a membership link for iPhone users since the typical icon doesn't tend to work? I want to join. All right, Dina. You feel totally docked right now, Gretchen. Yep. I could to I could tag to the foundation if I wanted to. Holiday weekend, so I'm hitting Costco tomorrow morning. All right, Dina. Dina, Dina, Dina. That's why I'm in your earbud, right? Because Jasper would lose his mind if he heard those ducks. Sunshines, enjoy your massage. Barbara is bringing apparently a suitcase full of ducks. I haven't decided what hashtag it's going to be yet, Duchess Diana. Um, you do have to go through Safari to join. You have to open Safari, but if you just go to my channel page... Hang on, I'm putting it in slash at. Get a stamp made. Corey will stamp them all for you. Okay, Phil is still asleep. Good. Off to bed, says Lord Kiss Freak. Been a long day. Yeah, no shit in. Good night, everyone. Rock on, bro. We are having a quacking good time. Well, we're trying to anyway. You tried that. It didn't work. There wasn't a button on that page. On Safari. Son of a bitch. Psych sauced. Okay. 
I tune in and out and sometimes what is the ducky cruise thing? People hide rubber ducks on cruises. They put them on top of picture frames and they put them on railings and they put them on, you know, they just put them all over the ship in random places. Nope. Tried the link. Didn't work. Son of a. Hmm. Use Chrome. No button. Damn it. And a hummingbird says there is. Hang on. I'm going to try to get this figured out because this is annoying to me now. Hmm. Let's see what happens. No, that doesn't work. Membership. Da da da. F. F, F, F. May need to use a computer if it's not there on your phone. People that work on the cruises or people cruising? People cruising are the ones that do it. Okay. Barbara, try that one. And Dina. Purple, are you out? Who's out? Who's leaving? There's a YouTube video to see how to do it with Apple stuff. Okay, and Hummingbird, you're using Chrome. Add slash membership to the Earl. I don't have a computer. I'm in a dungeon. At slash try that one, Barbara. SPTV Fanny. Good morning. I finally caught up with you guys. Sounds like getting up was not a good idea and I should go back to bed. Yeah. Yeah, you probably should. Honestly, it's just been that kind of night. Oh, red is going good night. Okay. Night guys going to try to sleep again. Rough couple of days. You and me both, babe. All right. Well, you get yourself some rest. I hope you sleep sweet. I hope you have a good night and that you can actually get some rest. We all kind of need it, don't we? Nope. Barbara says, son of a bitch. Well, lost. Now I don't know what to do, but apparently there's a video involved that tells you how to do it. I'll watch that and I'll see what I can figure out. I'm Android, y'all, so I, I'm kind of useless about that. Sorry. Oh. 
whoever is going to bed, good night. Yes, and Casillas. Yes. Barbara watched the video and still nope. I know it involves safari, but that's all I know. Keila says, love you all. It was my first day back to work. Have physical therapy early. Thank you all for being here. Well, thank you for being here. I'm glad that you chose to spend some time with us. I appreciate that. Sleep sweet, Keila. Worked perfectly for you, Anne Hummingbird. I'm wondering if that's because you're on Chrome. Just dropped my phone, so it's time for bed. Yeah, I would say. I would say that's probably the case. I'm keeping Count Ducula out here. It cracks me up. Oh, okay. Kim White, if you're on an iPhone, it says to look up the channel on Safari and you should see a join button. I just checked and mine says see perks since I'm already a member. Okay. Yep. Hey, Janet G. Good to see you. Just jumping in. Well, jump on in. Jump on in. The water's fine. We're looking at rubber ducks and waking up dogs and quacking people up. Smoke. Yes. Yes, it does quack me up. Maybe I need some duck tape to make it work. Maybe. That's possible. Oh, people are sending me emails with photos. Right. Oh, Judy Lee. My beautiful grandchildren, Kai, Kalia. Kai is three. Kalia is nine months. Their beautiful mom is snuggled with Kai. They are my everything. You're awesome, by the way. Thank you so much, Judy Lee. Okay, so that's Kai and Kalia. And there's mom snuggling with Kai. And there's Kai. Are we finger painting or are we just playing with frosting or what's going on? And there's Kalia. She looks like she's having a good time. Use some duct tape today to get some pet hair off of you in a snap. Do you have gifts enabled, Barbara? Do you have gifting turned on? Yeah, exactly what Red just asked. Let's see you Marlene to little ducks, y'all. Ah, uh, yes, this is S.P. Penelope the rabbit that Artsy sculpted. She's only a little creepy. It's the eyelashes, I think, that are jacking me all up. But I like the little ear stuff she's got going on. Pamela SP Butterfly, these pictures from a family trip to OMSI in Portland, Oregon last Friday for the youngest's birthday. Oldest is 11 and a half, youngest is now nine, and the really tall guy is my amazing hubby. You are welcome to share with the chat. There's the kids. I'm assuming that's the tall guy. <laughs> that's awesome. I love that.
That's great, Pamela. Thank you so much. Oh, and then Diane Phelan. is showing all of her ducks. That's some pretty cool ducks. I like the sugar skull one in the bottom right. I mean, the blue sparkly one's pretty cool too, but the sugar skull one is super cool. Went to the porch for five minutes and Shelly stole Miss Sunrise Dawn's seat because that's what she does. Oh, wow. That's funny. Jen, I just read your troll comment. That's hilarious. Aw, they tried. An attempt was made. I've seen you more lean to little ducks. Okay, you guys are working on trying. Oh, that reminds Anne Hummingbird she needs bananas. You are a member at heart, Barbara. That is a pretty damn big corner booth. There are 70 people in here. That's amazing. Thank you so much for spending time with me this evening and with the whole rest of us. If you're not in the chat, if you're just lurking, that's okay. It's totally okay. I'm not mad at you. If you would be so kind as to hit the like or the dislike, whichever you choose, I'm not going to tell you what to think. Um, if you do hit the like though, hit that subscribe and check to see if you're still subscribed because YouTube likes to jerk people around with that and randomly unsubscribe them. It's super fun. Um, I generally go on at the same bug time, same bug channel every night, but it varies by a couple minutes here or there. So uh, tickle my bell and uh, select all notifications so that you're notified every single time. YouTube really likes the engagement, folks. They love it. Ella now has competition. I don't know about that. I don't think there will ever be competition for Ella. Susan P. gifted five memberships. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Hello, people, places, and perspectives. Good to see you. Look at all these lovely people who got memberships. Rock it out for life, Kim D is here and she's a member everyone is super ducked up totally ducked up cheers to susan p absolutely cheers to susan p We're all ducked up here. That is true. That is absolutely 100% truth. I have a question. Sugar skull anything is awesome in my opinion. That seems more like an exclamation than a question. 
My joking game only gets worse the later it gets. You probably just need a snack, Gretchen. You're fine. Oh, read it for everyone. We can all use a laugh. Okay. Barbara says, I have three kids. I'm a hoarder. Therefore, I have my own duck collection. Well, of course you do. You have a pool or a hot tub or whatever that thing was that, that you sent me the photo of the other day when I sent you a photo of all of my snow. If you don't float a pile of rubber ducks on that thing at least once in your life, you're, you need to rethink your priorities. Okay, so y'all know Jen. She makes some amazing um, flyers for people on her page, on her community tab, free of charge. Including foundation flyers. Um, she doesn't ask for anything in return. Not a subscribe, not a nothing. Protest flyers, informational pamphlets, all kinds of stuff. And she made SBTV Foundation flyers out of the kindness of her own heart. And her troll said, these look so trashy. They look like the stuff you find in the laundromat pinned to a little tack board. You guys couldn't do anything better than this. Come on, you guys are starting a foundation and the name is stupid to begin with <sighs> because everybody knows SPTV's up in arms with each other. So nobody is really going to want to do anything there. And then you guys make a flyer with little tags on it for people to come tear off. Come on. I had to read it all like that because literally one, two, three, there are three apostrophes and literally no other punctuation at all. No commas, no period, no exclamation point, nothing, no, nothing. So, I mean, at least they know how to use the shift key because the SPT in SPTV is capitalized and the T on these, the very first word in the post, is capitalized. What the E.E. E. Cummings did I just read? So yeah, that's uh, that's Jen's little troll, and I don't even know what the fuck to say about that, except an attempt was made. Heather McLaughlin changing my name to Quackenbush. <laughs> I love it. You have pet ducks and geese, Janet G. Please hug them for me. Retired Red is eating a banana right now. Artsy Tartsy says I'm frozen. Trolls need to troll responsibly. Okay. Must have been you. Okay. Need my dirty stay ups family tonight. Yes, Pamela. And we are here for you. Susan P gifted five memberships. Yeah, I, th I thought that I thanked her. And we raised a toast to her. But that was like five minutes ago. So... Change the safari now. What am I doing wrong? Yeah, don't piss off Ella. She's here. She's right next to me. Why is this making me bananas? B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Thanks for get dozing off. Okay, sleep sweet, Kimberly. And I'm going to save that one for the road. Husband raises game birds as a hobby. Pheasants, wild turkeys, doves, ducks, and geese. Gets home from his job and puts on farm clothes. Okay. It would be awesome if a company could make SPTV creators as ducks. I'm sure they could. I don't know how, but they could. 
I need a snack. Okay. Get one. Brain fart? Yes, that's what I thought, Ann Casillas. I think I switched horses midstream on that one. I think you did. Why does my auto cock rocket keep trying to change Pamela's name to panels? I don't know. Uh-oh. This bish. She back from the kitchen. Okay, so that works on your iPhone in Safari, Mark Hardman? Okay. All right, I can copy-paste from here to there. Um, I know what you made. You made a grilled cheese, and you fried that fucker up in bacon grease, didn't you? I'm mildly envious of your sandwich. All right, come on, inbox. Get your shit together. Mark Hardman, you are doing Xenu's work tonight. And I appreciate you. All right. Barbara, Dina, open Safari and try that. Wild turkeys all over the place? Yes. Yes, Gretchen, only there are. We had like a dozen of them in the yard this autumn. Brenda, I don't know who is threatening her life. I have no idea. All I know is that people are doing it. I think it's flying monkeys. Yeah, what we have here is a run-on sentence. Yes, absolutely, Mark Hardman. What's a shift key? Cap? Caps? She didn't say names, but Nora did on her community tab. Bronwyn McKinnon became a member. Well, thank you very much, Ms. Bronwyn. Yeah, that troll does need some lessons. A lot of unhappy things going on, and I'm sure COS is happy as hell about it. They probably are. But you know what? I think a lot of the unhappy things are going on because COS is so pissed about the really effective things that are going on. Does that make sense? That's what I'm thinking. And a failure to communicate. <laughs> Yes. Bay. No, I'm not going to do it. Kelly's eating a powdered donut. Quacking, not getting into my cracking. I started laughing about a quarter of the way through and was snort laughing by the end. I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so, because, damn, okay, yep, yeah, I knew that was the sandwich you made. If I open Safari, I'm not here anymore. What about on the iPad? Try on the iPad, Barbara. Yeah, the cult is mad about the court shit and the protests. 100% they are. Yep, and I think that that's probably why all of this stuff is escalating and everybody's being hit all at once. Because they're taking a lot of L's. And uh, there's that. And then there's the fact that there are certain humans in the world... who cannot, are physically incapable of getting out of their own way. They're physically incapable of not shooting themselves in the foot 
at every opportunity. They're creating opportunities for the foot bullets and they keep doing it. And I don't know why. Hubris? Maybe the fact that they just haven't healed from their trauma. I can't believe that she decided to trauma shame somebody and then that Stephanie Hutchison has done good work in the past. So the fact that she's chosen to go the sycophantic route is really upsetting to me. I've I've been familiar with her work. She's made her choices though. And um yeah, I don't know what to say about that except that it's disappointing in the extreme. Dina became a member. Thank you very much, Dina. Yay! Retired Red, I'm on to Ruffles Chips. Okay. That's cool. And Casillas, okay, I have to go. Can't stop yawning. Good night, dear ones. Thanks for helping this day to be less sucky. I certainly hope so. I certainly hope we did. And Casillas. Buena noche. I hope you sleep sweet. And we'll see you. Amanana. I understand ZDT is a bad player in this, but don't understand why Nora and Liz seem out of sorts with each other. Did he make the threat himself? Did Nora delete videos she did with Liz? I don't get it. Honey, I don't either. I don't understand it. I don't know what went on behind the scenes. I am not in the loop. Not in the loop. No idea. Where is Hef? Uh, Barbara, she has doctor's appointments or has to make phone calls for doctor stuff at Rude O'Clock. So she's not here tonight. She had to crash out early. Kelly B69, I love everyone here. No cap. Back at you, babe. And good night, cruise goddess. Thank you very much, Anne. You did it, Dina. Um, if you want to buy memberships for others, if you check the, um, I think if you click the dollar sign by where you would do like super chats, it gives you an option to gift memberships. I think. Not positive. Why are you yelling at me? Because you're working in another screen. That's why you're yelling. When did Aaron say that anyone couldn't use the SPTV logo on their channel? I don't recall that. No, I don't either. I don't recall that. Jazzy J is the one who came up with the name. I don't know who designed the logo, but I don't recall anybody saying that he couldn't. Has who been in the SPTV community? Kim White. Marty girl. Well, hey there, lady. Hi, Cricket. Finally catch you live. Seriously, so many distractions. Wonder what the end game is. I suppose time will tell. I suppose it will. I suppose it will. Anne Hummingbird was gifted five memberships. Thank you so much, Anne Hummingbird. Little Flower is in here. Dillrod is in here. Whistleblowing Good Witch is in here. I love it. Posted screenshots, pitting them against each other. Okay, that makes sense. No one can even gift me a membership. Nobody loves me. I don't know if you have gifting turned on. Do you have, do you have gifting turned on, Barbara? It was someone who watched a ZDT live stream, according to Nora. Okay, so that the the flying monkeys thing, then that makes sense. Donnie Scattered, your your neck is giving up for the evening. Don't blame ya. Go lie down, honey. Rest. Rest. 
I'm assuming SPTV is something. Lol, ignorance is bliss, I guess. You're the one who came in because I showed up on your um, suggestions. SPTV stands for Suppressive Person Television. Uh, anyone who speaks out against the abuses of Scientology is considered by the Church of Scientology a suppressive person. And there are a lot of former Scientologists on the YouTubes. And they speak out very loudly about the abuses that they suffered at the hands of the cult of Scientology. So that's what SPTV is. Um, it is not a, a truly organized thing. We're not a gang. I don't even consider myself part of SPTV. I've never used the logo in my screen. Uh, screen. Um, I'm just a never in who happens to uh, hang out in a bunch of different circles. And many of them intersect at the uh, anti-cult space. So that's where we are. But there is now a new foundation that has been launched, a uh, nonprofit 501c3 foundation that is there to help people if they wish to escape Scientology. Um, and so that's what the SPTV foundation is. It upsets me if Liz F. and Nora are on the outs. I understand Liz revealed, revealed V stole from her and Nora thought she shouldn't have, but death threats and close pals both upset with each other now hard to get it. I don't understand it either, Brenda. I don't get it. Psych sauced in order to answer your question, I will um, email you. Donnie Scattered got to sign off. Sleep sweet, Donnie. Rest well. Yeah, keep on punctuating, baby. You were asking about Stephanie H. Oh, and you asked a question. I know I don't remember what the question was. Son of a bitch. They are random. That is true. When people gift memberships, it is it chooses them randomly. Oh, here we go. To Ann Hummingbird. Thank you. I tried to aim for you. Oh my God, you're the cutest, Anne. No gifting to turn on here. Figures that it's impossible to get turned on over here. Duchess Diana V is Vanessa of Degraded Daughters, which is now just Degraded Daughter. Do I know Donnie? No, Donnie's relatively new here. Uh, no, Stephanie was not. That that helps me remember. Stephanie Hutchison was not part of SPTV before, um, but she has been doing... Uh, a lot of independent work to help dispel some of the lies and nonsense that Scientology puts out. Dina, thank you so much for your super chat. No option here on the dollar sign to buy membership for others, but I'll get it figured out one of these days. Hearts to y'all and every one of y'all in the meantime. Thank you so much. That's the sweetest. I appreciate that. Artsy can only turn it on on her phone. Not enough time in the day to keep up with it all. Psych sauced, honestly, same. Asked if Stephanie has been a part of it. And I, I don't really think... She has been. You were hoping I wasn't going to save it as a sorry man. Actually, it's good you're not with SPTV. 
They do a lot of good, but maybe it's time to call it a day. Keep the connections, but independently. Yeah. I had so much fun the last few nights. Last night's cereal, foods, clothes from the 80s was awesome. So I look forward to many laughs and cries together in the future. Thanks, everyone, for being so welcoming. Smoke, that's what we do here, man. That's what we do. We're, we're glad that you're here. We have a really stupid good time here most of the time. We 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 are ridiculous and we are funny. Um, today has really kind of knocked a lot of people for a loop, but we're glad that you're here and we, we welcome you to the corner booth in the Denny's of YouTube. This broadcast not sponsored by Denny's or moons over my hammy. I really want a moons over my hammy right now. My lunchtime, baked tater, cheddar, chili, sour cream, salsa, scallions. Damn, Sarah, you are not playing. I am very humble about your support. She's the reason the crews got organized for the SPTV group and affordable. I... I do a lot of work behind the scenes. It's true. But I want people to get together and have a good time. Stephanie Hutchison did write a major hit piece on Erin in her personal blog, and it was stupid. We are the funnest chat on YouTube and Hummingbird. That is true. But we do, we do hold space. We hold space for people, and there's a lot of people processing a lot of crap tonight. So, you know, and and when that happens, we know what it's like. We know what it's like, and uh, so we hold space because everybody should be able to process stuff in their own time. And we're, we're here. We're here to help. And uh, here late at night in this little corner of the internet, I'm happy to help hold space for people and let them process what they need to process. SBTV community is awesome. It is the render side that caused all of the discord and separation. That's possible. I responded to her blog, but last I looked, my comment wasn't approved yet. Yeah, I don't know. Somehow, Kim, I'm not sure that it will be. But I don't know. I haven't really been paying attention to how she runs the comments section on her blog. Okay, that's weird. No, it's not. Wow. Yeah, there are some things that I don't understand. No, anybody can be SPTV. We're all SPTV if we want to be. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Everybody, everybody can be SPTV from what I understand. There are a lot of people who have chosen to take SPTV off of their profiles recently and out of their, any, any things that were branded like that out of their merch stores. Um, but I don't think that it's ever been said that nobody could uh, use the name far and wide. Everyone else has been. Let's say, ouch. Barbara, why have you put off spine surgery again? I did. I did, Pup Groomer 20. Stephanie Hutchison is the new, one of the new members of the Aftermath Foundation board. 
and she has done a lot of really good independent work fact-checking shit that Scientology says. And that's what I knew her from, from her independent work, fact-checking Scientology nonsense. So, you know, she's done good work up to this point, but I think she's kind of lost the plot a little bit. She's uh, very clearly fangirling. There are those who have said that, Duchess Diana. There are those who have said that. I'm not going to speak on that either way. You can hear all about her in Kelly Copter's latest video. Yep, the one that Kelly put out this afternoon. Put off surgery because I can't use the phone. I'm a chicken shit. Okay, fair. Who is this and who is she working with? Her name is Stephanie Hutchison. And she is one of the new board members of the Aftermath Foundation. That's who she is. And apparently is a hardcore Mike Rinder fangirl. And I'm kind of sad to see it, honestly, because I, I thought she had more integrity than that. But the, uh, the blog post that she put out, whenever it was yesterday, maybe, it's irresponsible, it's nonsense, it's Darvo. Um, and the, uh, the projection is like IMAX level projection. It's serious. So how did they help her monetarily, Marty girl? Barbara, you're not fangirling. I would never say to stop emailing me. Wait, were you using the other? Oh, no. Okay, good. No, I never, I never want you to stop emailing me. You are not fangirling. I love you. Bottom line is Aftermath members want all of us to agree. Aaron, the only bad one who has tricked all of us off the righteous road they are on. That's how you see it. Marty Girl, I don't know. I don't know that they did. I think she she did a lot of her stuff independently. I don't know what they may or may not have paid her for. Oh, Mark. You know, she's going to be absolutely charmed that you said that, though. I'm so sorry. Somebody please screenshot that. Send it to half. She needs it. I think it'll help her a lot tomorrow when she has to be up and making phone calls for stupid doctors and bullshit. Anne Hummingbird, well, I'm having my own cancer battle and I want all I donated back. Smoke, you sent a photo of your pups?
Did you email it to me, Smoke? And you did get passport passports done? Yeah. Very good. I'm super glad to hear that. It's not in my spam. Where did you send it, Smoke? You messed the email up. You try again. Okay. You know what? Yeah. All one word. Ciao, young smut. No spaces in between there. At gmail.com. It will make a noise that sounds like a Cylon when it comes through. And that's probably going to be the last photo of the night because we're, uh, it's getting a little, I'm getting a little close to two hours here, but, uh, gosh, I sure do, sure do enjoy the fact that you guys all hung out here with me tonight and that we could talk silliness and that we could talk about ducks Marty girl I don't necessarily agree with you I am not going to call you a nutcase and I will tell you that I am with you 100% on the last line of this Time eventually brings everything into the light. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. Talk to my dad and he's hanging in. Thanks so much, really. Good. I'm really glad to hear that. You set up an auto pay and why did you book through the cruise line? I don't recall you booking through me. I don't know. Drop me an email. Let me know. Ooh. Nah, -uh. you guys look at Smoke's babies. Look at them. Those are some hounds. Majestic. I bet this one has a lot to say. Oh, the sweetness, the puppers. That is a happy hound. Well, Smoke, thank you so much for sending that to us. That's amazing. That's incredible. I love it. Yes, yeah, 73, but not 73 likes. Come on, guys. It's free and easy. It costs you nothing. It takes next to no time. Now, what are you supposed to do? Well, I mean, Tampa B Man, Barbara, you could watch some more stuff on Quantum Entanglement or. Oh, auto pay donations to Mike Rinder. Okay, Anne, I was so confused there. Look at all the babies. Hi, Gary Mackey. Good to see ya. Hello. Elvis type hounds. Yeah, that is the truth, Mark Hardman. 
What delightful creatures. Jackson, my boy, and Sadie, my Dane. They're beautiful. They're beautiful and we love them. Uh-oh. Got to take the oldest ER, 103 fever and history of fever-induced seizures. Son of a bitch. Okay. All right. Keep me posted, lady. Keep me posted. I'm so sorry. Tell that girl to knock it off. Oh, Kelly B is saying that that patch is sexy. Jackson and Sadie, we love them. You can call Kelly, Barbara, or you can, um, we were watching a show today called Chef Grandmother Cooks. It's a channel, yes, ones are, uh, thoughts and prayers, good wishes, um, rituals, whatever you do, positive juju flinging. Uh, it's all positive stuff. That's what that is. Smoke. Some people don't do prayer, but they do other things to send out positive energy into the universe. So, yep, that's what the ones are. And you can put in as many as you choose. Um, Yeah, Chef Grandmother or Chef Grandma Cooks. I don't know. They're based in Azerbaijan, and it's really satisfying just watching this woman, sometimes assisted by her grandchildren, cooking food. We were transfixed. Also, there are chickens, and there are ducks, and there are there's a small cat, a couple of small cats. Um, there's all kinds of animals that occasionally they, they cut to, but in the meantime, they show you all sorts of cool stuff. And now I can't remember the exact name of it, but it was super cool and it's long form. There's not a whole lot of music. Uh, there's not a whole lot of, there's very, very little talking, but it's, uh, artsy tartsy. Barbara, that's who said you should call her. Artsy Tartsy. Um, I think that's going to be good for me, you guys, because I'm just babbling at this point about this Azerbaijani. Um, cooking channel with like 232,000 subscribers. Beautiful outdoor kitchen though. I mean, damn, she's no joke. So, um, thank you. Thank you for everyone who got memberships or gifted memberships. Thank you for the super chats and uh, thank you. Love y'all. What's the name of the channel? I think it's chef grandma or chef grandmother cooks. Something like that. Um, but thank you guys. I appreciate you. And yeah, the only stupid questions are what time is the midnight buffet and how do you spell jet blue? Anything else you're welcome to ask. And if I can answer it, I will. I'm glad that you guys hung out with me tonight. We had a good night, didn't we? We talked about ducks and, um, and we held space and we voiced some concerns and we voiced some frustrations and we... We talked it out, and I appreciate all of y'all. So thank you. Thank you so much. I hope that you rest well. Or if your day is now just starting, 
I hope that your day is lovely. And uh, I hope that you stay warm. You stay safe. You sleep sweet. I love you right back, Purple Groovy. You know it. Peace to you.